the F-22 Raptor, and F-35 Lightning II. Both from Lockheed Martin are the backbone of the modern U.S. Air Fleet. However, the newest aircraft from the NGAD program is becoming increasingly visible on the horizon, which is giving rise to much speculation about the future fate of these legendary Iron Birds. Will they face retirement in the next decade? Or will they still be able to compete with Chinese sixth generation fighters? We'll be talking all about it in today's video. In early 2023, the F-22 Raptor once again made headlines around the world by successfully shooting down a Chinese spy balloon. Despite a lengthy development process and some operational difficulties, Lockheed Martin's and Boeing's creation has become an essential component of the U.S. Air Force's tactical aviation. And its dogfighting capabilities, combined with stealth, have made the aircraft the benchmark of the fifth generation. Every new stealth fighter was first compared to the Raptor. Although even the U.S. Air Force themselves considered it the embodiment of the fourth generation of stealth technology, the concept of the aircraft was strongly tied to the times of the Cold War and involved medium-range operation from bases in Western Europe, as well as confrontation with Soviet aircraft and Warsaw Pact fighters. However, 40 years later, the operating environment for these aircraft have changed a lot. Now the American Raptor has to compete with the Chinese J-20 and FC-31. And one of the potential springboards for future conflicts is the expanses of the Asia-Pacific Theater of Operations, where fighters will be forced to travel thousands of miles just to engage their enemy. Such a scale of competition coupled with new geographical realities, required a new aircraft. The beginning of the 2000s was marked for the United States by the global war on terrorism and military campaigns in which there was no place for high-performance stealth fighters. This, among other things, was the reason for the reduction in F-22 production from an extremely optimistic 750 units to a more mundane 187 units. The initial cost of the fighter was estimated at $59 million, but as a result, numerous introductions of new technologies in the Raptor led to significant expense overruns and costs, and the price of the finished aircraft broke through the then insane mark of $360 million. At the same time, the overall high cost of the program also grew noticeably, from $44.3 billion for 750 aircraft to $67.3 billion for 187 F-22s. Additionally, the ban on the sale of the Raptor to foreign buyers put an end to hopes that the extremely expensive development of the devices could be offset by foreign sales. The F-22's companion was supposed to be a lighter and cheaper fighter, just as the F-15 Eagle from McDonnell Douglas was complemented by the no less sensational F-16 Fighting Falcon from General Dynamics. Thus, the F-35 Lightning II was born, a single-engine stealth fighter that filled in the gaps left by the development of the F-22. Structurally, the F-35 relied on the experience of the F-22, Composites made up about 35% of the weight of the airframe, and the device itself came out much heavier than lighter predecessor fighters with an empty weight of 29,300 pounds within the lightest modification. Although the main reason for this was the internal weapons bays and extensive avionics, despite not having the raw performance of the larger twin-engined F-22, the F-35 has kinematics that rival fourth-generation fighters like the F-16 and F-A-18, and double the fuel capacity of the F-16 due to which the combat radius of the aircraft significantly increased. Unfortunately, as with the Raptor, Lightning II failed to completely avoid budget overruns, pushing the program's cost from a potential $200 billion in 2002 to $412 billion by 2022. However, the F-35 ended up in much more favorable conditions than the F-22. Its development program was international, 
due to which many foreign orders were included in it. As problems with the aircraft began to be resolved, and the cost of its production was significantly reduced, more orders began to arrive, which made the Lightning II not only the most technologically advanced, but also the most massive fifth-generation fighter. In 2023, Lockheed Martin began assembling the 1,000th stealth aircraft airframe, while the number of combat-ready F-22s is becoming smaller and smaller. Part of the fleet is being cannibalized to support the remaining vehicles. The F-22 and F-35 were originally intended to work as a pair, but the duo fell victim to circumstance. The F-22 appeared when there was no critical need for it, and when circumstances changed, its success was already eclipsed by the F-35. Since the creation of new F-22s is, to put it mildly, unlikely, part of the production capacity was repurposed for the F-35. On the other hand, the existing Raptor fleet will undergo additional modernization and improvement, including new sensors and antennas, AIRST, or Advanced Infrared Search and Track, as well as a chrome-like surface coating that improves the stealth performance of the device. As for the future career of the F-22, by 2030 the U.S. Air Force intends to operate a large fleet of F-35s along with NGAD fighters. But there is apparently no place for the F-22 in it. Well, even legends have to give up their place sooner or later. The Raptor will be replaced by a family of systems capable of providing U.S. tactical air supremacy for the coming decades in the form of the latest 6th generation NGAD fighter, better known as the FX or Penetrating Counter Air, or PCA. In various media interviews, representatives of the Air Force emphasize that these talks are about the development of two versions of the aircraft. Long range, optimized for operations in the Indo-Pacific region, and shorter range, for European theaters of operation. Both are adaptable and optionally manned platforms with significant range, enhanced survivability, and next-generation modular sensor capabilities. The main goal of the NGAD team is to create an innovative aircraft with powerful adaptive cycle propulsion systems developed under the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, advanced weapons including hypersonic missiles and combat lasers an extensive combat radius, improved stealth, and the ability to control thermal device signature. This will be complemented by the use of Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCA, or Loyal Wingman, the latest drones and swarming drones that expand the functionality of a fighter dozens of times. They, along with Heads-Up Displays, or HUD, will be able to be controlled by integrated artificial intelligence helping the pilot remain always aware of even the smallest details of what is happening in the air, and reducing the cognitive load put on them during particularly intense battles and complex sorties. This is like a coach guiding, mentoring athletes in the middle of an intense match, helping from their point of view and seeing details that the athlete himself might have missed in the heat of the moment. To date, NGAD is one of the top priorities of the U.S. Air Force. According to the Secretary of the Air Force, Frank Kendall, the cost of one U.S. sixth-generation fighter would require spending at the level of hundreds of millions of dollars per tail. Kendall made this statement in the spring of 2022, speaking before the House Armed Services Committee. Roughly speaking, the futuristic fighter will try to strike a balance in its price segment, sitting somewhere between the 360 million F-22 and the 80 million F-35. Speaking about the planned number of aircraft, there was also mention of a figure of 200 NGAD fighters and 1,000 CCA drones at the rate of two UAVs for each of the sixth generation fighters, and similarly for each of the 300 F-35s in the U.S. fleet. China, meanwhile, is also trying to keep up with the U.S. Originally buying Soviet Su-27 and Su-30 aircraft, the PRC moved on to successfully re-engineering these fighters with its own Shenyang J-16, 
and then to the creation of the Chengdu J-20 stealth fifth-generation fighter, which aviation enthusiasts still jokingly call not the most successful copy of the F-22 Raptor. One way or another, work on the Chinese sixth-generation fighter is in full swing, and the head of the Air Combat Command, General Mark D. Kelly, is convinced that China's plans for next-generation aviation are in many ways similar to those of the United States. Among them, most of the attention is being paid to the following – exponential acceleration of computing power and target detection, advanced stealth technology, artificial intelligence, regular software improvements, as well as the formation of an air platform into a single digital network node, like the F-35 Lightning II. But whether the Chinese NGAD will receive combat lasers or not still remains a mystery. A potential mock-up of the new Chinese fighter jet surfaced on satellite imagery on Twitter in the fall of 2021, when a camera captured a diamond-shaped tailless prototype at the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation test airfield, located next to the company's factory. Just a year later, during the aerospace show in Zhuhai, China presented the concept of a new fighter. The translucent model of the device was made according to the scheme of a flying wing and showed the layout of some of the insides of the aircraft in the form of various connections, wiring, and two engines. Of course, no technical decals or even a potential name in addition to the mock-up have yet been released. In the winter of 2023, China once again reminded us all of the fighter. It was spotted in a video posted by the Aviation Industry Corporation of China showing three twin-engine aircraft resembling the J-20 stealth fighter, but in the tailless shape of the model shown in 2022. Given the previously shown renderings of Lockheed Martin's NGADs, it can be concluded that, as is the case with new bombers, the tailless design risks becoming a trend for sixth-generation fighters. This is not surprising, though, because it provides aircraft with excellent stealth and the mixed-wing hull design will provide greater lift, range, and lower fuel consumption. On the other hand, according to leading analysts, both NGAD and his Chinese opponent risk losing maneuverability unless they use other design elements to counteract the aerodynamic design of the flying wing, or technologies to compensate, such as thrust vectoring engines, separated brake rudders, and other approaches. An equally important aspect is the engine, which will become the heart of future sixth-generation fighters. The American AETP program is developing an installation that can significantly improve the flight range of the future device, but judging by a statement made by the Secretary of the Air Force, the cost of developing and putting the engine into production will be at least $6 billion. The words that this is not the second F-35 engine, but a brand new idea, are encouraging, prompting Congress to ask the following question. Will it be possible to equip the existing Lightning II fleet with similar installations by 2030? China, in turn, can introduce into its fighter an improved version of the WS-15 turbofan engine, previously tested in action on its Chengdu J-20. Plans for the implementation of NGAD fighters with the subsequent retirement of the F-22 are currently scheduled for 2030. The PRC announced 2035 as the release date for its new device. Now it only remains to wait for the first details before we have the opportunity to compare these two iron giants head-on. When do you think we'll be able to see these aircraft in action? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more content like today's. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.